Let the vengeance begin! Howdy, howdy! Sue Devil here, and welcome to a guest battle featuring Disco Popping with the dwarves against the lizard men. We just had a fight against the lizard men, and I wanted to show a different sort of build. And uh, this is what we have here now. For Disco's front line, he has four or five, yeah, four long beards. And long beards, basic long beards are so good in this front line. Or has five long beards rather. And he actually also has Unger Iron Fist fairly stripped down. Where the difference really starts is he went for a very strong back line with Iron Drakes with tor Trollhammer Torpedoes, which we know are good in this matchup. He does have those Bugman's Rangers, which are excellent. Has one group of miners in the back line, two cannons which are excellent anti-large, and two groups of giant slayers, which are ridiculous in this matchup. Now, the Lizardman player brought, uh, I think, two skink cohorts, I'm not sure, and some sour s spears. Um, now, probably just looking for a very cheap frontline in infantry, and on this side has a feral bacillodon and some cold one spear riders, again, probably cheap flanking I guess or, or maybe they're fairly new it has some croc scores in the back and temple guards which are and some sour warriors with shields like these these guys are all good and he's got croc score croc guard in the back here and it looks like he's got a decent enough load with swiftness of its deadly onslaught sacred spawning of Zwaddle, uh and cold-blooded of course and he's going to bring him up now right away you can see the cannons are aiming in at this feral uh, bastilodon just to try and whittle it down on the way in. And this is the advantage of, of bringing artillery, is really you get to choose which units are going to get to your line in a beat-up condition, uh, and your your opponent has to come to you. So really, he set up right by this rock and made a, a nice line like this, and you have to go around because you can't get through that. And you can see the, the lizards are sort of coming up in piecemeal, and now, once we're in range of these Iron Drakes, they just do so much damage, it's absolutely insane. They're all... Uh, well, look at that. And it routes right before he gets to the line. The Croxagors are going to get there now, and they're going to be the next to try the line. Longbears of Great Weapons are just going to hold the line, and, and now the Iron Drakes, the Trollhammer Torpedoes, are going to start shooting into the Croxagors. We're going to get a couple shots and try and bring in some units to deal with them. But you can see how quickly these these uh, iron drakes just they're so devastating if they can't be held under control now the lizardman opponent is trying to, trying to come in the back here and do some flanking to get into those cannons and get into the cookie jar but he's going to go up against giant slayers and we giant slayers are just crazy he's going to try and force pass all path all the way through to these bugman's rangers he is going to get a rear charge he's going to start doing some damage and he's going to come in and get into these miners with blasting charges and try and force path through with them as well. The mainline engagement has started, but you can see here, I mean, there's really just a full a full pocket has been created. Now, Crocker, you can't control Crocker, so he's in the cookie jar. Ungermeyer Fist is going to deal with him. These cold ones in the rear are just getting dumpstered by the giant slayers. They just kill so fast. But Crocker has kind of had his way and Ungram is going to do his best to chase him in that front line and he's getting into the Iron Drakes to the Troll Hammer so he hasn't taken a whole lot of damage using that swiftness of it so he's just running around not allowing Ungram to hit him staying out of the way for the for the rest of this these guys are going to try and come back again and uh, <clears throat> Disco just got just wants to keep these these riders routing but you know Longbeards are they're going to take some damage these Crocs of course are very good but as soon as uh, the giant slayers come. He's going to take Croc Guard. He's just going to charge in the back of the long beers, try and get some damage done, and then try and and make another pass at this. But at this point, you can already see this pocket is absolutely rock solid. I'll try and get a little bit of elevation so you can see. This is the beauty of just basic long beers. They're so strong, and then they can hold this pocket. So this whole area, yeah, they got in a couple of times with Croc Guard, but now Croc Guard is trying to get out. And Disco's got Ungram just chasing him down. And Croc Guard will sort of come around. And he sees him. He sees him got a bit isolated. And they're going to try and get a fight going right out front, right for all the warriors to see. 
We want to make sure this is a really cinematic and whoop! <laughs> nice little juke. <laughs> and he's leading him right to these troll hammer torpedoes. This is going to be devastating. Troll hammer torpedoes are so powerful, and the, as soon as they start shooting into Krokar, there's just n nothing he's going to be able to do. Here they come. And there come the shells, and you can see his health just going down incredibly fast. The giant slayers are in, and he's going to try and get away, just pull himself out again. But the damage is done. Now he's within range that the cannons are going to be able to stay on top of him nonstop. You know, everything else has been routed out, and uh, Disco's just taking these guys, pushed them out, maintained his whole pocket on the inside, had his uh, cannons firing. They're taking a little damage, Dyer Drake's taking a little damage. Uh, but the Bugman's Ranger have been firing non-stop, the Iron Drakes have been firing non-stop. And uh, now it's just clean up time for the Dowie in this front line. But I, I really just wanted to show sort of that different concept of bringing artillery against the Lizardmen and how that sort of works together in, in context. And when we were, we had a chat about this fight and one of the things uh, Disco was saying is that he likes to try and sort of make a core build, a core build, and then add to it. So his core might have, you know, f five long beards and two giant slayers. That's his core build for the lizard men. And then he adds on to it for flavor or whatever he feels like on the day. And you can see how strong this build is. You know, the Dowie have a pretty big advantage against the lizard men in all builds. I do have another game I'll cast where I think it's pretty much the best thing the the uh, lizards can try against the Dowie, but I'll show that at a later date. Uh, but you can see, very, very solid. You know, Longbeards, 5, 23, 30, 22, 90. Very solid in the front line. Giant Slayers, 65 and 1. Really, they killed the the uh, Spear Riders. And those Trollhammer Torpedoes, they're like the ranged version of the Giant Slayers. They kill in that they kill so fast. Very vulnerable, but they very kill. They kill very fast, and of course our Bugman's Rangers are always good, thirteen and nine. But they put pressure on the Croxagors. They put pressure on wherever they needed to to keep things debuffed and keep things rolling. And of course our cannons, just solid all around. Now, uh, Udo Udo Toy, I would guess probably a bit of a newer player, but he had some good elements in the build. I mean, Croxagors are a unit you would expect to see. I think they always perform poorly against the Dowi. Though they look like they should perform all right because they're armor piercing as Feral Psilanon and Krokgar, um, you know, a fairly a fairly elite army and didn't have any magic, so that uh, that definitely hurt them because you you could bring an army with a little bit cheaper and you bring uh, Curse of the Midnight Wind that's really going to help you in the front line, but that was the the army the the Lizardman army was not the point. The point is this build from Disco, showing the concept of you know, using those same ideas that we talked about in our other videos, in the Lizard Men videos, with making a bit of a different backline that is also very powerful, and you pre present a different front to to your enemy, which I think is really fun. So, great fun build. Uh, thanks, Disco, for sending that, and Disco and I had a chance to play some just some fun matches. I might cast one of those, or one or two of those, just for fun, and, uh, you know... I hope you found it interesting. Love to hear comments down below. And with that said, I will see you soon.